What's up everybody, it's Coach Phil with Coach Phil Reacts. We are back with another video. So, this video was highly requested by one of my followers and let me just make sure I got the name right of the follower because, the subscriber actually, because he went to the game and I'm just gonna give him a shout out, Nathan Antone. So shout out to you, Nathan Antone, for wanting me to check this one out. Because uh, BC is the surprise, the surprise of the CFL season. And I'm I'm digging it. I'm really digging what's going on with them, man. They're playing Edmonton, who's in a slump right now. And Edmonton, I was correct about Edmonton. They were going to struggle this year. But this is going to be a fun game to watch. Last time they played BC, put a number on them, and it was wild. So if this is your first time to the channel, run over there and subscribe. Hit the notification button after subscribe. Make sure you hit the comment section, share out the video. And without any further ado, let's just get right into it. And we're going to get to the other game too here after this, so be on the lookout for this video too. The visitors are 2-2 two two on the road so far this year, but they go up against a one-loss BC Lions team. The Lions team that's getting another weapon back here. Second uh -oh. and 10 for Three options to Roark. Roark is playing out of his mind. Uh-oh. Welcome back to the lineup, Jake Smith. Good blitz, though. Was that a blitz? I'll call it a blitz. Oh my god, how do you fumble the fucking bag? This shows how Edmonds is using. What's going on? What the? Hey, yo! Okay. <laughs> I've never seen something like that before, but okay. Oh my. You know, this signifies the direction of the season for the Edmonton Elks. They can't hold on to the ball. I mean, like. What? I gotta be really careful what I say because I don't want nobody. Oh, fuck it. How the fuck y'all fumble on the ball like this? It's something about when Edmonton plays BC, there's some issue. The first time they played them in the regular season, earlier in the season, I was blown away by the ass whooping that they took, but I, I don't know what's about to happen right now. I did not watch the game, but I pray to God this is not the same ass whooping that they took week one. I'm, I'm praying. I'm Please tell me this is not going to be the ass whooping that they take. Similar to the first week. Bro, why are you holding the... Okay. You got to hold on to the ball, fam. Too easy. Going to look for some pressure coming, gets away, far side is got a complete number. And it's number 16, back in the lineup. Going to the red zone for Warren. Oh, quick. Smooth. Looking to strike first here at the right. Oh, I like this. When they score first so far, this is the orbit motion. Double orbit? Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 Alright, they're moving. They're moving the chains. They're moving the chains. Got him. Teddy. The lucky Whitehead is a beast. Swinging behind him, now back out to the left. 
You what? What? <laughs> this dude. What is going on? Rourke is that dude. Y'all keep telling me Rourke is that dude, and I, I'm a solidified. He's that dude right now, man. He's playing. He's played out of his mind in the dance. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh. What can't this dude do? Look at that! Oh, look at that! Yo! Okay! No, they won't! <laughs> Where is the safeties at? Where's the correction? Let me say it correctly. Where's the safety at? Goodbye. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, lucky. Don't let oh, lucky get an open field. Put it on the board. Oh my goodness. This is only the second quarter? No, if they score. All right, they don't care. Oh, they're going for it. For fuck's sake. Get the fuck out of here. This ain't even fair. You know what I'm saying? This is this 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 is an ass whooping. Like you know when you're a kid and your mama tell and asks you a question and she'd be like If Michael has eight apples and he gave four away, how many apples does Michael have? And you say a dumbass answer and she asks you the same question three times and you finally get an ass whooping, it's the worst ass whooping of your life. Why does Edmonton play so bad against BC? Like, what's the problem here? Like, what, what is it that BC has on Edmonton? Out of all the things in the world, why can't they cover these guys? And why can't they get to Rourke? I'm not dogging BC, let's be clear. I'm not dogging BC. They are putting on a fucking show. But, damn... This is making me uncomfortable. You and you do, come on. You're on your own four. Oh my god. Bet said I'm gonna play. Uh oh. Mm. This can't get any worse. Mm. 
<laughs> Y'all let no boy run in there. He can run and throw. What is going on? Okay. All right, defense got to step up now. Need a turnover. Hmm. I'll knock over the cheerleaders now. Ain't do nothing to you. Don't you dare celebrate. Okay. Oh my god, finally they get a turnover. Okay, let's just cut to the chase. BC has the most fun and gun offense in all the CFL. And I was expecting it more from Calgary, but this is what an offense looks like. This offense clicks at the right time. This offense is fun to watch. Rourke is a wild card. He is the NBA young boy wild card award winner. Cause this dude, Every time I've seen him play this season so far, and I've only seen a couple, a couple games, but every time, every time he's on the field, he does something. You notice it, you see it, you say, that's the guy. He's leading the team, his teammates respect him, his teammates are willing to go the extra mile, and he, because he's able to put his body on the line, run, take a lick, and keep on going. He, my God, if Kalaros wins, if Kalaros of Winnipeg, if Zach Kalaros wins MOP, I'm going to be mad. And I like Kalaros, but Rourke should be the MOP at the end of the season. Like, if he keeps playing, barring an injury or anything catastrophic, Rourke should be the MOP. He's he, he is electrifying the league right now. And by God, everything I've heard about him, everybody was hyping him up when I was doing the the, pre, the previews of the season and talking about, oh, Rourke, 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 and all that stuff. But... This dude is the truth, man. Ah, shit. <laughs> Excuse me. My bad. This dude, I, hey. Keep it going, man. Keep it going. As far as Edmonton, Edmonton don't know what they're doing. Edmonton don't know whether they want to be a run team or a pass team. Edmonton, I, yo, I, I, need, I need Edmonton to step it up. I need them, excuse me, to... Do something. You know what I'm saying? I, I need them to wake up. There ain't much of the season left. Like, if you're going to make a push, now's going to be the time going into week 10. Because this is not getting done. This is not. This is debauchery. SpongeBob level debauchery. This is. I, I don't even know what to tell y'all, man. But listen, y'all, we're going to get up out of here. I got to make another video for the last game of the season. So that's the regular stuff. That, uh, the last game of the week. And I hope you guys checked that one out. I appreciate all the love and support. And remember, keep your head on split. We'll continue to be great, strive for greatness, all that jive. We'll be up out of here.